Vectorworks 2015 has an improved OpenGL rendering engine. In Vectorworks 2014 they completely rebuilt OpenGL. Now what they've done is they've improved things like the transition, so when I spin around it's much cleaner and sharper. If I use my standard views you'll see that it's very crisp in the way that it spins. It turns out that actually this is a Vectorworks preference that we can edit. So we have a preference in Vectorworks that we can set, we can set how quickly that turns around. Now unfortunately the only way to set this preference is to use a script. I've got a script that I've already created and it's called View Transitions. So if I just open that, there's a script there, Set Pref Real. So I'm going to change this and make it one second and you'll see the difference. So let me just double click to run that script and then I'll change and you'll see it takes quite a while for my screen to move around. Let's edit that again. Let's make it 0.1 of a second and you'll see it's much quicker this time. Maybe a little bit too quick. So this script set pref real needs to be created if you want to control your transition. That's a third of a second which I quite like. It's crisp, it's kind of punchy, not too quick. Another one of the changes they made in Vectorworks 2015 is the speed of wireframe view transition. I've gone to wireframe and you might notice that some objects are quite complex like these washhand basins and WC. When you rotate your view or do your fly around, Vectorworks used to turn those objects into square boxes to speed up the transition. It doesn't do that anymore. It's very quick. The things stay in wireframe. And even when they're complex, you can still spin around quickly. Thank you for watching. For the leader in Vectorworks training and manuals, visit learn dot archoncad dot com